Hey guys, Cullyball3 here, and welcome to episode 4 of Rags to Russian Riches. Now, I started off the episode by replacing a lot of the bronze players I had in the team with some gold Chelsea players, because, quite frankly, I was getting really annoyed uh, of playing with these below-average players, and I had to get in some really good quality, and that's exactly what i done. I got a Vanovic in a 4-1-2-2 for 1400 and Cahill for 1300 Now, the reason why they are that bit more expensive is because I am on the PS3, as you all know, and also they are in 4 and 2 and 2 formation, so that makes them that bit more expensive. Maluda was the third player I picked up, and I got Ramirez in CM in 4 and 2 and 2 Now, I had to get a CM to CDM card, picked it up for 300 very cheap. But guys in the Xbox, you're probably thinking, that is an absolutely ridiculous price for Ramirez, 3500 But uh, Ramirez in CDM, 4 and 2 and 2 on the PS3 goes for about 7 or 8k. So that's why uh, I did pay that much for him. Anyways, that's the team that I have there. It's a full Chelsea team, bar the two strikers. I got Aguman and Donaldson up front. Even though they're absolute monsters, had to keep them in. I will be replacing them probably in the next episode. Anyways, the team uh, is pretty good. The Chelsea players that I did bring in there in Cahill, Ivanovic, Ramirez, Maluda and Kalu were very, very good. And I brought them into a game. And uh, while I'm playing the game, I'll just basically do a slight review and I'll talk a bit about the players that I did sign for this episode. Anyways, guys, I do come up against a guy with a German team. Now, he's got a lot of goals in there and he's got like a front three of silver players and a random bronze in there. Anyways, McEachern with the fake shot and he scores a lovely finesse shot by the keeper. Stood absolutely no chance. And again, Maluda here. Now, Maluda, I really did enjoy playing with him. He's got four-star skills and he is actually quite pacey. I was surprised at how good he was because I heard from a lot of people that he isn't all that great. But the fact that he does have four skills, uh, four, uh, four star skills makes him a very, very good player. And again, Kalu, I did enjoy playing with him. He doesn't get involved, I suppose, as much as Maluda. And he doesn't have, uh, he, I think he's got three star skills. I know he definitely doesn't have four star skills anyways. And yeah, he is a decent player, uh, quick enough, but uh, not one of the better players that I did pick up in this episode. And you'll see Agumant tops off the victory there in the 80th minute and that's how it ended guys 5-0 absolutely demolished the first guy I came up against with the new and improved team anyways the second guy I come up against he's established in June 12th now I can see he is uh, just buying gold players at random he doesn't really understand chemistry that's why he's got a bunch of uh, random bronzes and then random goals in the team Anyways, I do take the lead after 23 minutes with no other than Agumon with the finesse shot over the keeper's head. How do you like it? Bottom right, pick it out. Great goal there by Agumon. And you'll see coming up here, McEachern plays an absolute sublime through ball into Agumon. Split the defence open. Uh, great through ball there. Uh, McEachern's been absolutely so solid for me. Fantastic player. And you'll see there, it was Ramirez, I think, that won me that penalty. Now, Ramirez... It has been fantastic for me. I mean, he's the engine behind the team. He works the defence right from box to box, really. And he's just such a good defender. He's great at going forward. Three-star skills. He's quick. He's got everything. I mean, I've played with his second in form on the Xbox, and he's fantastic. And you'll see there, Ivanovic did score a header and was very uh, close to getting a second there. And I do enjoy playing with Ivanovic. He's so strong. Likewise with Cahill. They're two very, very good players, but the only problem is they do lack... The one thing that you are looking for in centre backs, which is pace. I'll talk about a bit about uh, their their connection, I suppose, and a bit about them a bit later on in this game because you'll see uh, what they were at fault for. But that guy does have a man. Well, he's building towards a Man United team, it looks like. But I did get one by him with inside ten minutes. The main man there again, argument. Now, guys, you could buy him for. I think about I bought him for 150 coins in 4 2 and 2 and he's been probably one of the best bronze players I've ever played with and that's saying something like you know but Donaldson is another good player but he's just not quite as good as uh, as Aguman you see Maluda does a bit of skill here he hits it into the Ronaldo chop does a roulette when no one is around because that is why I am a boss and Maluda finishes it with a nice finesse shot anyways you'll see here it is Ivanovic trying to catch up with Owen. Now, guys, if you can't catch up with Michael Owen, you know you're quite slow because that guy used to have the pace years ago, but now he is an absolute turd going around on the pitch. I don't know why I call him a turd. That was kind of weird. <laughs> but uh, you'll see here, again, the two defenders, Cahill and Ivanovic, can't even catch up to Berbatov. And everyone knows, guys, Berbatov, he is so slow. He doesn't even move half the time on the pitch. He's one of the most lazy players I've ever seen. So, guys, that's the one thing they do lack is pace. But they are two good centre-backs, very strong, and they do have a good defending, good positioning, and all that. Anyways, Aguman tops the game off 
with a 5-2 victory. Aguman got another brace there. And guys, I finished off the episode with a bit of trading because I know that's what you all love. And the first guy I got there was Ainsworth for 600 coins. And I got a Miles Weston there, left mid, 4-4-2 for 2,100. Now, that was a fantastic pickup. I'll get a lot of coins back off him. And again there, Yaya yeah, yeah, Torre, CM433 for 8,100. And a Walcott for 1,100. And I also picked up a Gary Gardner on bin in 4321. Now, it says 3,500 there for some strange reason. But I actually bought him for 3,200. Uh, I suppose that's foot just messing up once again. Anyways, I sold Torre, you'll see there, for 13750 Made nearly five, 5k profit off him. Gardner, I sold for 5.5k, made just over 2k. Walcott, I made nearly 1k off by selling him for 2200 And you'll see Miles Weston, I sold for 6k, and I made 3600 off him. And finally, Ainsworth, I made just over 1500 by selling him on for 2300 So in total, I made a profit of 13000 off that little session. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, and I will see you for the next episode.